we will explore the difference between gravitational potential energy and gravitational kinetic energy. Potential energy is stored energy, like a rock or a mountain. Kinetic energy is energy in motion, like the bouncing ball. Which airplane has the most gravitational potential energy, plane one or plane two? Both planes are moving at a constant speed, so they are considered to be balanced or have stored potential energy. Plane number one has the most gravitational potential energy because it's higher off the ground. Kinetic energy is an unbalanced force. Kinetic energy is motion. The guy in yellow has more kinetic energy because he's running. The guy in orange is walking. He has less kinetic energy because he's moving slower. Hi guys, potential energy is a balance force. That means it's not any motion like this tree or kinetic energy, which is an unbalanced force. It means you're in motion or you're moving. Let's review. Potential energy is energy that is waiting to be released. The lower an object is to the ground, the less potential energy it has. Versus the higher an object is, the more potential energy the object has. Let's review. Kinetic energy is energy in motion. It means you're moving. You can decrease kinetic energy by moving slower or you can increase kinetic energy by moving faster. This can be proven with Newton's second law, force equals mass times acceleration. Remember these vocabulary words, potential and kinetic, balanced forces, net force, unbalanced, frictionless, applied force, and acceleration. Remember acceleration means to speed up, slow down, or change direction. Where is the unbalanced force? Great. Sections two and four. The answer is C. Take a look at the drawing below. Notice that airplane W is 50 meters higher than airplane X. Which statement best describes the energy of the two airplanes? Great, if you chose answer J, the two airplanes have the same kinetic energy but different gravitational potential energies.